All right, so we are back. We are back. It's been a couple of days. Actually, you know what? I was gonna say like, oh, I was not excited to kind of come back and play this game. It's like, I feel like I did all I needed to do here with, with Peggle. But now that I'm playing it again, I'm like, yo, honestly, this game's kind of fun. Even though it's lagging really hard, I don't know what that's about. But we had to come back because I have some updates for you. This is my, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it's been a couple of days, but I did, uh, I did, I went to the, to the dentist, believe it or not. Like I said, I would. And, uh, everything's good. No, uh, no cavities. You know what is kind of funny, though? I'll, I'll mention this. I have a, a little bit of a, a story or something kind of interesting to, to tell you. But first, I want to clear a few things up from, from last time. Well, one thing is that actually I have at least one baby tooth. I thought I had one. But I think they were telling me I have two, actually. And see, that's the thing. My teeth, you know, look, not look, they, they were a little uh, fucked up. And it's one of those things because I remember, uh, you know, people used to make fun of me back in the day. They're like, must be nice being rich. You know, things like that. And it's like, bro, I'm not fucking rich. But again, it was like a situation of, you know, I might lose my, my teeth here. So <laughs> it's not a matter of being rich, uh, you know. Even if I had no money at all, it's like, okay, well, I, want, I don't want my teeth to, like, fuck up and fall out. So, <laughs> I'm going to make something work. If I got to take out a freaking loan or something, then, I mean, that's that's what it's going to be. But Another thing, too, with, with the pegging thing real quick, uh, I think what I meant to say was it was just a suggestion. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's going to translate super well, but I was very tired last time. And that's all I meant. But listen, so how did my uh, dentist appointment go? Well, uh, okay, we'll, we'll check this out. So I went there and listen, you know, we, I like, I, listen, I, I don't know if it's obvious or not. I don't want to, you know, make, make assumptions here. But uh, I like to goof around, you know, obviously. Like when I'm, well, again, I, I keep saying obviously. It's obvious to me because I am me. But it might not be obvious to you. I like to kind of play things up a little bit, you know. I think I've said this qu a couple of times now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what? I should be reading these things. That's actually really helpful. Anyway, we talk about, you know, peeing and, and coming and, and pooping and stuff like that. And it's a little over the top. But again, that's that's the point. Uh, you know, I'm not really like that all the time. All of that just to say that when I went to the dentist the other day, you, you got to sign in or whatever. And the lady at the desk, she, she's a little bit older. But I was like, yo, like, this desk lady's kind of cute, like low key. I'm like, <laughs> but uh, and then, you know, I, I sit down and and then the the person who's gonna like you know do the do the inspection she comes around and she she says my name and i look up and i'm like whoa this girl is even cuter i'm like whoa what like bro and then you know how like you you do the dental work or well i i didn't do anything uh but they do the dental work right and then uh and then the other dentist shows up to to do the final uh run through or whatever and she shows up and she's cute as well i'm like bro you guys like only you know like what, what's going on here <laughs> I, I wouldn't necessarily say that i'm you know someone that's super picky but i was just like it was just really throwing me off because i was not expecting there to be so many people that were really cute But there, at one point when I was waiting, before I got up in there, uh, you know, when I was just waiting, there was some old lady, uh, she came back in, some st stupid, st stupid idiot old lady. <laughs> she came in and she's like, I forgot my purse. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't know why I'm being so mean to this old lady, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much all of my uh, dentist related uh, stuff for you. Oh, well, actually, never mind. So, so check this out. So I, I kind of had this in, in, in the back of my mind because it was something that I kind of noticed and I was curious, you know, maybe, maybe this will help somebody else because it's, it's like a, it's a little confidence tip, a little confidence tip because you know what? I, I know that we've all been there, right? We've all been there where, uh, we kind of look at ourselves and we're like, damn, I'm like disgusting today or every day or whatever, you know, uh, we at least have moments like that, right? But you know what I noticed is a lot of the time, like the stuff that I'm critiquing myself on is like, I'll go look in a mirror 
and I'll be like inches away from my face looking at myself and like critiquing every little whatever but it's like bro I took a minute one day I don't know what, what made me realize it but I'm like I took a minute I'm like how often are people this close to my face like ever you know like we're all like really gross and ugly and stupid when you know when you get like an inch away from our face speaking an inch away from my face can this guy fuck off because I kind of want that ball I want the ball <coughs> to go there But I was kind of thinking about that and I was like, yo, like low key, that's like one of the best tips ever is that I realized I'm like, wait a minute, like, let, let me take like a, a foot, like a foot back. Let's, let's take a, like a couple steps backwards to where I'm not looking at myself from like two inches away, you know, and I'm like, that actually changes a whole lot. <laughs> and I, I kept thinking about it. I'm like, yo, low key. Wow. I fucking suck, dude. I'm like, low key. That, that really does change a lot. And then I don't feel so bad because I'm like, yo, listen, uh, I do try and take care of myself, obviously, but like it makes it, it really does make a big difference when when you realize that people aren't going to get an inch away from your face inspecting your little, you know, crow's feet or, or whatever, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. But then I, and I kept it in mind. I thought about that maybe a, like a couple months ago. And then ever since I was like trying to think, uh, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, that's like pretty bulletproof low key. Except for when you're at the dentist where they are l quite literally inches away from your face, looking at how stupid you look with their fingers in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know why that was like popping into my head. Uh, usually, well, again, actually I do know exactly why, because like I said, all the people there were like super cute. Cause otherwise, you know, it's usually, I'm usually pretty chill. You know, I'm not like too, concerned about the dentist i already had all the bad stuff you know done a long time ago but of course this time hella cuties so then i kept thinking about it and it just made me uh like kind of anxious or whatever because i'm like damn this girl's like two inches away from my face <laughs> and i probably look like a fucking idiot i don't think you can like go to the dentist and not look like an idiot right i mean they, they quite literally have their fingers in your mouth They're like all right turn this way <laughs> This is stupid as shit. But you know what? I, here's another. That's all. That's all my dentist stuff that I was gonna talk about. But I did think of another thing that's at least tooth related. Is actually uh the worst tooth type thing tooth tooth experience was uh I had my um wisdom teeth. That's the ones, right? Wisdom teeth pulled. I had like all two or all four. I don't know how many I was supposed to have. But they took all they took all of them out one time again for for the exact reason that I'm sure you can assume because you know my teeth were all screwy but I, they gave me medicine and stuff like this and this was when I was relatively young and I wasn't used to meds and uh, the medicine that they gave me to, uh, to to get the procedure done dude I was so sick that was like one of the worst experiences ever I don't even want to give you the details because it, it's it, like it's so disgusting it's foul and i really hate that kind of stuff like i feel like most most youtubers that i watch would like give you all the gritty details no you don't want to know it was it was so vile and disgusting it's even worse than you could probably imagine unless you maybe you've had your wisdom teeth pulled because then maybe you can kind of fill in some of the gaps here with uh, with your own imagination <laughs> but yeah that that fucking sucked but now at this point, I think I have most of my uh, tooth stuff done. Unless I get a gold teeth or something, I don't know. <laughs> Unless I get those like Kanye uh, titanium plates or whatever. And uh, I'll, I'll fill you in right now. That's never going to happen. Even if I had unlimited money, I'm not getting plates on my teeth. Yeah. You know what's weird too is, I mean, obviously that was what I was going to talk about and I had a few other things on my mind. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to talk about this. But now that I'm here, I'm like, I don't even really want to talk about any of that. Maybe I will. And I'm not going to tell you if, uh, if that was what I was, uh, had planned or not. Cause that kind of ruin, uh, that would kind of ruin it. Would, wouldn't, would it not? But yeah. I'm, I'm just always in a way different energy than I'm expecting. Like, oh, I'm going to record. And then I'm going to, I have like, ah, oh. and then sometimes it's like three minutes later and I'm like a totally different person. The cameras turn on and I'm <laughs> turn into a whole different freaking beast. 
Well, you know what? I guess I will talk about uh talk about this. So uh, listen, I'm just gonna be cut and dry, and I don't know if this story is really stupid, and I'm gonna sound like an asshole for for telling this story or not. It's it, it, honestly, you know, I've said before that some of the stories, you know, sometimes I preface the, you know, I'm like, this is a really stupid story, but this this is a really stupid story on multiple levels and yeah i apologize in advance but you, but you might think it's funny i think it's kind of funny yeah all right so, he, so here goes i'm sure you already know at this point that i do like to do a little bit of gaslighting for comedy comedic purposes strictly strictly especially on here because here's the thing this could be really satisfying i want to see if i can get this right no, <laughs> not at all what I was hoping for. Um, but anyway, on here, especially because again, you guys, you know, I'm pretty new here. I'm new around these parts, but even still, even if I wasn't, at, you know, even if I was a little bit more established, it's one of these things like, you know, let's say I get like a hundred views. How many of those people have even seen my content before? Like, who knows? So I'd rather just make sure if I'm going to say something where I'm just completely joking around that I try and at some point like fill you guys in like I'm just I'm joking I'm fooling around unless it's something that's like you know where I don't think that it's super necessary you know or whatever like very rarely yeah you know what I'm saying hopefully that makes sense again that is some of my favorite comedy I know it's not for everybody so people don't really like that they think it's stupid but me and my friends again and you know I would even kind of say it's like a you know, I learned I learned this phrase now. I use it all the time, but uh, love language or whatever. Like, if I know that we're cool, if I can fuck with you like that, you know. So, uh, I don't know why I, this popped into my head earlier today, but uh, I remembered there was this one time I was seeing this girl, right? And it was still like kind of the relationship was still pretty new and, and fresh, and things like that. So I didn't want to push any buttons too too far or anything like that. In I'm gonna kind of eat my words here because this is like again this is really stupid and I don't know why I felt like this was a, a good a good thing like <laughs> so basically uh, I don't know if you guys watch this channel I, I'm really I've really been into a lot of like cartoon like YouTube stuff like YouTube animators and, and things of that nature for a long time and I don't know if you guys are into that stuff as well but if you are, maybe you know about this YouTube channel called Sick Animation. That's literally what it's called. He's one of my favorite creators in inspirations just in general. I mean, that guy knows how to make just about anything hilarious and just... The, the, the dude is a genius in my opinion but he, he does a lot of comedy and if you know his content or whatever or if you go and watch some of his content you're gonna see exactly why i love his stuff and why you know it's like oh, I, I, I see it this guy he i get i get so much of my inspiration from him so but one of one of my favorite videos from him and it's it's a more recent one i think it's probably just called like jumanji because it's based on uh, the newer, you know, Jumanji, uh, you know, reboot or whatever. And it's it's a cartoon that's supposed to be The Rock and Kevin Hart. And uh, they get into a disagreement because Kevin Hart keeps calling The Rock cum stain. And The Rock's like, man, stop calling me cum stain. You gonna quit calling me cum stain, man. And they, they, they get really upset. And so I, I was seeing this girl at one point and... Uh, I thought saying that this was real would be so far out of reality that I'm like, oh, this is a, this is like the best, you know, this is a safe bet. Like, there's no way she's going to think that this is real. So I was like, oh, this is a safe bet because there's no possible way she's going to think that the real Rock and Kevin Hart are, you know, beefing over, you know, being called cum stain. Like, you know, it, it just seems so far out of reality that it's like, there's no way she's going to buy it. But I'm just going to... I'm just gonna try it anyway because I think it's kind of funny. So I told her one day I was just like, "Oh, did you hear about the Rock and Kevin Hart? Like, yeah, I guess uh, they they they're having a disagreement on set, at, you know, with with Jumanji because uh, Kevin Hart was calling him cum stain. I don't know what that's about. That seems just kind of weird, and you know, stuff like that. It, well, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't remember exactly how it went, but I do kind of, you know, that's a general, uh, you know, kind of how I like to to do it because I think it's kind of funny. And it's through text as well, so I wanted to stress that. <laughs> and uh, I, I guess she bought it, you know, and again, I try not to hold people, you know, 
you know, in that realm for too long because I'm like, not everybody likes that kind of stuff. And I'd rather just tell people, I, I, I want them to be in on the joke. I don't want to be the only one like laughing or whatever, you know? And then I told her, I'm like, yeah, I'm just fucking around. That, that's not true. And she got really, <laughs> she got really upset, like genuinely. And I, I like, I don't know. I, I'm still kind of, I don't really know how to feel because She's like, you know, hit me with, listen, my ex-boyfriend, he would always, he would always gaslight me and it, I really don't like that stuff at all. Like I'm genuinely, like, I don't, I genuinely don't know if I can trust you anymore. And it's just like, bro, like calm down, you know? And now that I'm now in hindsight, it's like, maybe she was gaslighting me, but I don't think so. Like she seemed like actually like very upset with me that, uh, I would make something like that up. It's just like, all right. If anything, it's like, like the only thing, the other thing that I'm thinking is that it's like, I should be more upset with you. Like, how can I trust you? You know, you really thought that the rock, <laughs> the rocks are being called cum stain. Like, <laughs> it's just, uh, but again, I, I try to be very you know cautious and sentimental about people's feelings, especially in that realm, because maybe it was, you know, well, I'm not super religious, but I wanted to say, you know, God kind of uh, spiting, you know, spiting me down or whatever, because wouldn't you know it, my very next relationship after that one, I was with a girl who was actually like super manipulative and would like gaslight the fuck out of me. So <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I, I got my, my comeuppance or whatever, but yeah, I never uh, tried to gaslight her and, and stuff like that ever again after I knew that she, that was like a, a, a hot point there. But I do think it's, it's kind of funny just because it's like that, that really is like one of my favorite videos that that, that one kills me. They're getting close. Do you, you got a Venmo? No, bro. Don't even get me started. I'll quote the whole damn thing. And if you wanted to know what I look like, I'm, I'm basically one of the characters I show up in, you know, and they're like, I, well, I don't want to spoil the video. Just look it up. It's, it's hilarious. I love that video. That is genuinely like one of my favorite videos of all time. And I was thinking about it too. Like... <laughs> It's not, it's, it's a relatively recent video. And I'm like, I felt like I was like gone when I seen it the first time. And I was like, there's no way I was gone on weed, but here's something. And maybe, uh, you know what, since, especially since, uh, this is around the Halloween type time and, uh, we're playing on like a Halloween type level, which I'm loving by the way. I, I think if I was just to, to guess, because I don't get lit super often. I, I think I, it was this one time when I went to a Halloween party. There was this game, and I don't know how it worked, but you know what? I'm a, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a team player. I like to, I like to be a part of the fun. And again, like, I don't really drink all that much, and when I do, I don't usually feel very much. I just get tired and I go to bed. Um, but I remember I went to like a Halloween party once, and they had this game. And again, I have no idea how this game works or how it's supposed to work or what. Uh, some people were like, hey, come over here and play this game. And uh, it was like, I, just, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just like, it's one of those, it's sort of like one of the, you know, type of drinking games that like, you know, a lot of people play where it's like, hey, the person who hasn't drank d drinks or who's, you know, but there's a lot of like random ones. Like who's the tallest person here? And uh, I'm not like the tallest, you know, person of all time. I'm relatively tall, but I think because I was standing up there, like, oh, that's gotta be you then. So you, you gotta take another drink. And I was like, all right, well, you know, whatever. But before I knew it, your boy was gone. Gone, so. That was one of the times, well, not one of the times. That was the time where I don't, I didn't even know where, where I was. I didn't know where I was just like, I'm not even on earth anymore very fast. And uh, I felt really bad because I, <laughs> one of my friends brought me there and I got very sick. And I think I ended up like in a Walmart. Uh, well, <laughs> I got very sick. All right. You know what? But if I had to assume that must have been the time that I watched uh, the Jumanji video and uh, it kind of freaked me out. I remember like genuinely being freaked out. That's how I'm like, I was definitely on some kind of substance. And again, I don't really, I don't smoke it like anymore and I don't drink very often. So I was like, I don't know. I was trying to narrow it down. I'm like, there's only been like a couple of times. So I'm just going to assume it was that time. And yeah.